Hi, SR Squad. So, guys, not so long ago, Lerato Hanya was accused of lying about owning a hotel that she was gifted on Valentine's Day. It is said that the hotel is owned by Lerato Hanyago's husband, Tami, and other two silent partners. So, guys, if you remember, I told you about Musakawula hosting a space on Twitter while he was not sober he was literally coming for everybody and he also said this about lerato's husband then in the in the afternoon i get a call from some nigger i'm not gonna say who he is shame and then i get a call from some nigger and then apparently that criminal man in the gabonang light tommy Dala or whatever. And then time in Dala, apparently then he sends this guy. Then he's like, oh, Musa, this is a guy talking. He can't even speak properly. I don't know, something wrong with him. And then he says, Musa, some, you know, you shouldn't speak about uh, Tommy and whatnot. Obviously, let me, let me give you a background story of what happened. So Tommy invited, you know, the upper echelon people, they're not really upper echelon, but them fucking celebrities and some influencers to that hotel, right? So everybody is at the hotel, they're doing the thing. And then this comes after Lerado lied about the whole thing that she owns the thing. Shame. But I blame you guys. Y'all put her under pressure because she had to come up with something big. Anyway. What was I saying? The dangerous man, right? And then the man calls me. He's like, okay, fine. Yay. Ooh. Tommy is like, oh, you mustn't talk about him. And then he wants to meet you. I'm like, no, I don't want to meet that dangerous man. Like, why would I do that? He's like, he wants to show you the papers that he owns the them stupid hotel, whatever. I'm like, I don't need to meet that man then I can get my ass ass assassinated because I don't want to die, right? I, I don't want to get me assassinated. I'm not meeting fucking anybody. So guys, if this is true, I honestly think we are putting Lerato under pressure. So every time when it's Valentine, everybody's looking at her and to expect her to be spoiled more than everybody in this world world which is not fair on her guys i think it's time we give lerato a break next year we just keep quiet we don't call valentine's day lerato's day guys please we can stop now but with musa kaula also must say that i don't believe him like i don't believe him at all just imagine lerato hanyago's husband organizing someone to call musa to tell i'm um, just to ask him to come over so that they can show him the papers of the hotel ah uh -uh, guys no no so personally for me it doesn't make sense i feel like he made this up but do tell me what is your opinion